It is the future of medicine. Doctors tracking if your medications are working from a tiny pill that is inside your stomach. It sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, but as Matt Howerton shows us, this new technology is helping young heart patients right here in North Texas. <laughs> you never know it. Then, yeah, I do feel like a new person. But someone else's heart is beating inside 16-year-old Cypress Jackson's chest. I mean, I really am grateful that I got a heart so fast. When Jackson was 11, she got a new ticker because her heart was too enlarged, and she's reminded of that at least three times a day. I mean, really, it just becomes clockwork, like you said. Because to keep her heart going, Hi. she has to take 30 pills daily. If not, her body could reject her new heart. How is it going with the patch? Oh, the patch is good. And thanks to this tiny microchip, Jackson's parents and her doctors can keep track of her daily doses on their phones. Get this, it's a digital pill called Proteus. So every time they take their medication, it has the pill in it. And once it reaches the stomach, it sends a signal to this patch. Um, the patch then downloads the information that they've taken their medication. And then that information... Discover found your 830 pill. ...gets sent to an app that notifies Jackson's doctors and her parents that she's good to go for the day. Um, that's helpful because sometimes I get sidetracked and doing stuff and then the alert comes and I'm like, oh, I gotta take my pills, I gotta stop everything. The Proteus chip is safe for consumption. It's made out of silicone, copper, and magnesium and just passes through the body. Liver and kidney transplant patients have been using it for a few years. Children's Medical Center? It's the first pediatric operation in the country using this digital pill with heart transplant patients. It's pretty crazy that that small little grain of sand could potentially tell us more information than we've ever known about our patients. Jackson says she never misses a daily dose, but adds that accountability, especially when it's this small, is never a bad thing. Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News.